Hi, it's Nikki from Energy and Emotion here. I just want to talk a little bit about um, one of the services that I offer, which is Emotion Code. Uh, I really want to talk about this because it's not very well known. Um, and to me, it's an extremely powerful technique. I've really seen it help sh shift people's lives in so many ways. It's just incredible. It's a, it's a hidden gem, really, and I don't think the title really speaks. Um, if I put something out on Facebook, you think emotion code, pass, next. <laughs> so I think it's a good moment to speak about it on video. Um, so what is it? Emotion code really helps to release emotional blocks, um, uh, trapped emotions behind um, a certain issue in your life, or it can just be in general. Um so it can range from people saying, well, I just feel blocked in my life. I don't really know where, but I just feel not brilliant. I don't feel very happy. I feel tired. Things aren't going as I want to go. Or it could be, oh, I really need to make this decision, but something's stopping me. I don't. I don't make the decision. I've had people with physical pain, uh, you know, like a, a pain in the shoulder, pain in the knee. It can be um, people feeling really blocked in a project and that they can't move forward with it. Relationship problems, not getting on with their, their spouse or their, their children, sleepless nights. The thing is endless. I've also worked on people with um, dietary problems. It's huge. It's, it's really, really big. Um, one of my big successes was a woman, a client who came to me with shoulder pain that she had for 15 years. Um, and she tried everything from chiropractor, uh, physiotherapist, osteopath, acupuncture, the lot. And nothing shifted it. And in one session, we actually managed to do, to shift the shoulder pain completely. Um, that was a big success. Doesn't always happen that way. I've had other people where there's been, um, reduction over a number of sessions. Um, people also, when it's about a problem, they will say to me, you know, maybe after a week, nothing's really changed. Then about two weeks later, that's it. Things start rolling and it really gets going. Um, people find that it lifts, um, it lifts blocks from their view. For me, it's almost like, you know, we clean your glasses <laughs> so you can see where you're going. Um, it really just helps to 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 make the the way so much clearer, and emotional blocks. M emotions get blocked basically um, during difficult moments in our life. If we go through a difficult period and we don't deal with those emotions, they get trapped in our energy field, and it's really like weights hanging around us, around our feet. The the emotions was like a ball, like the size of like from an orange up to a size of a watermelon that we end up trailing around with us. So imagine how that weighs you down in your life. Um, and it's really, you know, the thing when we, we bottle up emotions, we don't want to deal with it, so we just put them in, and they just they just build and build and build up. You know, it's a massive wall in front of us. Um, and then we just can't really move forwards. Uh, so trapped emotions can manifest either as physical pain when that, that trapped emotion gets in the energy field and lodges into your energy, creating, if you want, like a, a fissure or a, a bulge, and that creates the blocked energy, which creates, in the end, creates a physical pain. Um, it can also, I was going to say something, it's gone straight off the back of my head, off the top of my head, it's gone. Um, oh... I can't what I was gonna say now, but yeah, so yeah, one of the ways that they can manifest yeah, that was it. One of the ways it can manifest like physical pain, it can also be that we can feel an emotion much more easily. If we have a lot of, for example, a lot of anger trapped in our emotion field, we will feel anger much more quickly, we'll get triggered much more easily by that because the anger is ready available. Um and yeah, it can also just generally block us on our way. Emotion-wise, we can get emotions that are blocked in this life. Um, we can get emotions that are absorbed from other people around us. If somebody has, um, for example, a parent who is very angry a lot, we can actually absorb that anger. That anger is so 
projected out so often that we end up absorbing it um, into our field. So we can get absorbed emotions. We can get emotions that have been um, transmitted through the different generations. They can go inherited, that's the word I'm trying to think of the French word, inherited. So they're inherited through um, generations all the way back. So if that person has not dealt with that emotion, it can actually get transferred all the way through down the generations. And that can create emotion that you you don't identify with. It doesn't feel like you, but you feel it a lot. Um, we also absorb emotions through um, the womb. When our mother is pregnant with us, we can actually absorb it from our mother. And we can also transfer it over from our past life. And also between lives, some people get, this might not be resonate for some people, that doesn't matter. Um, but sometimes when people, before they come into this life, they get the sudden fear of like, oh my God, shit, I'm going to be human again. I remember last time, I don't want to go there. So it can come from all areas of life. Um, we also get emotions that um, if we go through, through a very emotional time sentimentally, we can actually create a wall made of emotions around our heart, which is called a heart wall. Um, and we can actually work on that during a session. When we have a, a heart wall, it can actually stop us from really receiving or giving love from having really close relationships. So it really reflects on the on the one to one. We have this wall that we're not being able to really connect with the person in front of us. Um and we can actually create lots of other emotional problems within relationships. And it's very interesting when we work on heart walls because we work on the thickness. I like to work on, on how thick this wall is. And these heart walls, you know, it's it's imaginary your your um your unconscious just, just creates like, almost like an image to represent what this wall is. So we can get walls that are like in kilometres thick, in inverted commas, um, made out of all sorts of things. I've had walls made out of candy floss, out of cotton, out of um, tin foil, out of all sorts of things. I had one woman, I said, I'm getting plastic um, and I'm getting your heart wall is made of plastic bottles. And she said to me, that's so weird. She says, I've got plastic bottles all over the house. I've got I've got bags of them. I can't get rid of them. I collect them. They just make me feel secure. <laughs> and after we worked on the heart wall and dissolved, <laughs> dissolved that heart wall, she threw out all her plastic bottles. Um, but obviously that's just not real. It's how you're, it's the imagination and the objects a wall are made of. To me, it's almost... Um, what is represented in your life is almost as a comfort. So for some people, it's wrapped up in cotton sheets. Um, candy floss, I don't know. Maybe we just people at candy floss because it tastes nice. So, yeah, we can work on trapped emotions, inherited emotions, absorbed emotions, and also the heart wall. Um, and how does it work? Well, basically, I connect to your energy. And I use muscle testing to identify emotions um from a table of emotions so i'd ask your uh, if you imagine that this table it has columns and it has rows and in each box are five emotions so i'd be asking your energy okay does fred have um attract emotion behind this issue is it column a is it column a column b which row is it in and then when i find the box i would find the emotion so maybe sadness will come up as a yes and I would then find the age this was blocked at. So was sadness blocked between 0 and 20, 0 and 10, 0 and 5, 5 and 10, until I get a yes for the certain age. And at this moment, we would probably talk. Um, throughout a session, it's you're there listening with me, but there's nothing you actually need to do. I'm doing all the work if, if, if you want. And in the moment we find the emotion, and then we can talk about it. Okay, so what happens, you know, when you were seven years old, when you're feeling sad? And it ends up becoming like a bit of a coaching session where you, we look at the issue around that and release it. And then on to the next emotion. And in general, I tend to release maybe between 10 and 20 emotions in a, in a session. 
And as it's because, you know, we're working with the energy and I'm actually connected to your energy, so I'm working on me for you. It can be done um, distant. So I work with it by video, by telephone. I can do by email, but I don't actually like it. I prefer the, the contact and to really exchange over something. I find it much more effective. Um, saying that, I also do on animals. I've done with horses and dogs. I've worked on my cats. So obviously an animal can't talk. <laughs> um, so I'll sometimes do that in an email. Now I have been to like, people's houses and worked um, on the animal where the owners give me feedback. So that's been often been quite useful um, and is very effective. I worked up with my cat one time and it was unbelievable with Harry. Um, he'd had a very swollen lip and so I did a motion code with him and within the space of one minute the, the swelling just went completely down. It was unbelievable. And yeah, animals absorb feelings just like we do. So it's a really, really powerful technique and it's also really good at the moment, I think, with what's going on because a lot of people are feeling uh, anxious or worried. It can be anger coming up, all these negative emotions coming coming up and I can actually help you to release those. Um, it's I can't, I can't tell you enough how powerful this is. I've, endless people have written to me and said, wow, thanks, Nikki, you've transformed my life. And, excuse me. <laughs> um... And it's also, people have also um, helped release stuff they've bottled up for so long and they just put to one side and they didn't want to remember it. And it really helped that when we talked about it, it really helped people to see so much more clearly what was happening in their life and why they were blocked and why a situation happened. Um, it's unbelievable. It, it has me in tears sometimes to see how people just transform. Um, it can take more than one session and I don't I don't tell people okay you must come back every week or you must come back every month I let people decide for themselves it's your responsibility to see how you feel if you feel that one session was enough that's fine if you feel like you know maybe one month down the road down the road you want to come back and you feel that you can come back and see me yeah. um I have no no program for it. I allow you to feel into that and to feel when you need to release more because you know your body so much more than me. Um, and you know the time it takes and where you're at and if you need to release more. So, you know, I just do the work, but in the end, it's, it's your responsibility to really feel into it and see if it's really helping you or not. Um, I hope that helps to clarify things what this is about and if you've got any more questions you can email me on um i can't remember my email <laughs> artist reiki at gmail.com artist reiki all in one word dot com um no artist reiki at gmail yes artist Re artist reiki at gmail.com and my email, my website is at nickypete.com. Nickypete, N I C K Y P W E T dot com. Um, so I really look forward to, to speaking with you. You can, you know, ring me up for a 30 minute chat if you want to see if we resonate to work together. Anyway, I hope to see you. Take care.